Well, I, I'm hearing all this. And I have just now realized this is Roberto Craig. I don't think I've ever met you. I have a story about you that's quite interesting. <laughs> I, once upon a time, it was probably 1978 or something like that, I was a peptide chemist, like a synthetic peptide chemist at, at like uh, UCSF. And a friend of mine, Ron Cook, who is the head of the biosurge now, was also there. And we were sitting in a seminar that you happen to be giving, right? <laughs> And uh, Roberta was talking about this, this uh, long oligonucleotide that he had made and had stuck it into a bacterium, and the bacterium had been fooled into synthesizing the peptide that that oligonucleotide coded for. Remember that? Yeah, you got away with it, too, because, I mean, they kept doing it. But at any rate, Ron and I were sitting there, and, I, and after, afterwards I said, Ron, you know what? we're in the wrong business because we're going to be replaced by bacteria. We should be making oligonucleotides because that's what they use to code for them. And Ron and I went away from there and I, I left about uh, a month or two later and went over to Sears Corporation making oligonucleotides. And Ron went back to his garage and made a machine that would do it. And it, it, it it took about, um, I think it took him about two years before he had one that would actually work, that would do it, but that's where biosurge came from. And um, it was your, <laughs> it, was a, it, it led me into, into oligonucleotide <laughs> synthesis. With, I mean, at, at the time that Ron came over to my lab with his new machine, by then I had seven people working for me at CS making them, and and Ron brings me this machine, and it said, this thing will make three of them per 24-hour period. And that was a lot more than my lab could produce in that month, pretty much. And so I said, what the hell are we going to do with all these oligonucleotides? <laughs> you know? and, and that thinking about what else you can do with them besides what they usually do with them is where PCR came from. It was like. It was an accidental kind of a side product of something that I had thought. I said, this would be a good way to do this or that. But it, it was, um, if you had never given that seminar, <laughs> Ron and I'd still be being peptide chemists, right? <laughs> <laughs>